Bangalore's iconic UVCE University of Visvesvarya College of Engineering, also known as SIRM. Visvesvarya Engineering University, now recognized as an autonomous institution of state eminence. By the Government of Karnataka, as per the NEP framework. Chief Minister of Karnataka Basvaraj Bamai and Minister for Higher Education, Dr. Ashwat Narayan inaugurated the newly renovated campus. University of Visvesvarya College of Engineering was established in 1917, under the name Government Engineering College, by Bharat Ratna Sir M. Visvesvarya. It is the fifth engineering college to be established in the country and first in Karnataka state. UVC is one of the few technical institutions in the country that is vested with the status of a university and autonomy, on the lines of IITs. New, renovated UVCE campus inaugural event also commemorated Engineers Day September 15, 2022 that marked the birth anniversary of Sir Mokshagundam Visvesvaryas. A Diwan of the former Mysore Kingdom, who is credited with pioneering civil engineering in the state. Karnataka Chief Minister Busvaraj Bamai on the eve of Engineers Day. Said his government was committed to developing the University of Visvesvarya College of Engineering into an institution on par with the Indian Institute of Technology in three years. The university will be provided required financial support, qualitative faculty and world-class infrastructure, the CM assured. Bamai also said UVCE will be free from external interventions and that complete freedom and autonomy will be granted. He urged the students to focus on the basic foundational concepts to have a bright future. Higher Education Minister Dr. C. N. Ashbath Narayana, UVCE BOG Chairman Muthurman, UVCE Development Committee Chairman Dr. Sada Gopin, Principal Secretary of Higher Education Department Rashmi Mahesh, Secretary to Chief Minister and UVCE alumnus Manjunath Prasad and Principal Dr. H. N. Ramesh, were also present on the dais with other dignitaries. About Mr. B. Muthurman, the first chairman of Board of Governors, UVC 2022. Former president of Tata Steels Ltd. and Tata International Group B. Muthurman. Padma Bhushan awardee from Government of India has been appointed as the governing board chairman of University Visvesvarya College of Engineering. The new UVCE governing board chairman's term will be for a period of five years. Higher Education Minister Dr. C. N. Ashwat Narayan said the state government has decided to appoint an external industry person to head the UVCE as part of its plans to develop it into an institution of excellence. The induction of an industry expert to head UVCE is the first part of the plan to give it complete autonomy. The minister said pointing out that the new UVCE will be empowered to name and appoint his successor. The role of government will not be there in the selection of the UVCE successor as in in the case of IIM, IIT and other top institutions, he added. About placement at UVCE 2022. A computer science engineering student from UVC gets RS 58 lakh job offer. She received the offer from a California-based cybersecurity company, setting a placement record at the 106-year-old college founded by Sir M. Visvesvarya. The placement season this time at UVC had 502 students, registered of whom 337 got job offers from 71 companies who visited the campus. The average salary package is 10.6 rupees lakh. Three students have received job offers with a salary package of 48.3 rupees lakh per annum from another California-based data software company Fivetran. Eight students got an offer of 24 rupees lakh per annum from SACEACT2021, Autonomous Institution of Eminence. Government of Karnataka has published UVCE Act 2021 in its Gazette on February 28th. 
2022 to model UVCE as an autonomous institution in the lines of Indian Institutes of Technology, Indian Institutes of Management, and other institutions of national importance. Government of Karnataka in its notification dated March 25, 2022 has mentioned about the commencement of UVCE Act with effect from 25-03. 2022, Sri Mutharman B, ex-chairman, Tata International and ex-chairman, Tata Steels Limited has been appointed as the first chairperson of Board of Governors of University of Visvesvarya College of Engineering for a period of four years with effect from October 8, 2022. Vision and Mission of Training and Placement Office Training and Placement